Welcome to episode three of Emotional Freedom TV. I'm Mary Henderson. Well, today's topic is about something that we're very interested in, and that is the conscious and the subconscious mind. And what is it? And we always, always struggle with the notion of the conscious and the subconscious mind. Because for years, and probably like you, I actually believe that the subconscious mind lived right here, behind my brain, right in that little area on the bottom, and that's where all my information of the past was stored. And I thought that by reading all the affirmations and all my goals and doing my storyboards, that uh, at some point, I would be able to delete all that information in that area and have this amazing life. Well, not quite. So 20 years on this journey of personal development and believing in that, I came across one book, which I've mentioned before, and that is Candace Pert's book, Molecules of Emotion. And what I came to realize is that the conscious mind and the subconscious mind are very different explanations to how I've always understood it. You see, through Dr. Candace Pert's research, what she was able to show in her book and demonstrate uh, is that our cells carry the information from our environment. Now that's a pretty powerful statement to make, don't you think? What that means is that our environments from the day that we were born our homes, our parents, our teachers, our extended families, and the information that we kept on being fed over and over and over again become our belief systems. That's scary, wouldn't you say? Now, here's another thing that you need to know. The subconscious mind actually is you. Bit hard to swallow? Let me explain. Well, according to Dr. Bruce Lipton, he says we are made up of 50 to 70 trillion cells. In other words, you, head to bottom, are made up of 50 to 70 trillion cells. In those cells is where we carry our limiting beliefs. Those cells act as communities. They all come together and they say, yes, you are a low self-worth and you are fat and you are this and you are that. Let's stick together. And then what happens? Those beliefs that we store in us at a cellular level are the experiences we create in the outside world. Now that is huge. For me that was the aha moment because as Candace Pert clearly demonstrates in her research, the subconscious is the connection between mind and body because your mind and your body are one. They're not separate. 50 to 70 trillion cells makes up you. No separation one of you. The conscious mind, however, is the driver of the ship. So if your subconscious mind, the 50 to 70 trillion cells, believe that you are a non-worthy person and you are non-deserving around an example of money, your conscious mind will take you to experiences that continue to reaffirm that belief system. It's scary. So the whole idea around the law of attraction on one hand is correct, absolutely spot on. But on the other hand, it cannot work until, first of all, you understand that your limiting beliefs are stored in you at a cellular level, one. Two, how do you clear those limiting thoughts? And three, apply your new thoughts to your mind, which is your conscious mind, and create new realities for yourself. So there's a couple of steps that we need to take before we start reading all those affirmations and before we start visualizing that gold board 
for a better job, a better relationship, a better car. We cannot achieve an incredible life until we understand that our limitations are dormant within us. They are there, they are real, and they are driving us. They drive us to those experiences that we no longer want to have. And then we ask ourselves, after committing to a new meditation uh, CD set that we've purchased, or you know, purchasing the 12 self-help books that promise, promise to get you to prosperity. You see, you won't achieve anything. You can read as much as you like, you can visualize as much as you want, you can buy as many meditation CDs as you like, but until you address your belief system at a cellular level, you cannot move forward. And so, after reading Candace Pert's book, I immediately migrated to uh, start reading uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton's uh, books and uh, his uh, collateral and presentations that there's many of them on YouTube. And suddenly I came to understand that absolutely, the mind-body connection is one, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind are a force to be reckoned with, and the most exciting bit about all of this is that it is completely possible to supersede your current limitations with new thoughts. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that brilliant? That we can change our life based on new information that we acquire, which essentially challenges your paradigm. So that when we challenge our paradigm, we create those aha moments. You know what I mean by aha moments? You've had them before. It's when somebody may say something or you may read something and you think, oh my gosh, I now understand. Well, that's what Dr. Bruce Lipton and Candace Pert did for me. I had multitude of aha moments reading their uh, uh, collateral. But Emotional Freedom TV is about giving you information to start challenge your thinking. It's up to you to take action from the information that we provide you. The information we provide you is based on our readings, and based on research and case studies, and usually we like to take it from a scientific standpoint. And me being a technical person, I actually do like fact over fiction, although I do write fiction. And, but for you, it's really important to understand that science plays a critical role in you achieving that amazing life that you've come here to achieve. So I, am recommending that after this episode, you will see on our main navigation of our homepage at emotionalfreedom.tv, there is a tab titled resources. And on that page, you'll see all the different episodes segmented. And under each episode, we actually do uh, promote the resources associated with the episode. And today's episode is number three. And on there, you will find Dr. Lipton's books and Dr. Candace Pert's books. And I highly recommend that if you are interested in understanding more about your uh, cellular makeup and also how it actually does control your reality and, and creates your environments, then I'm going to highly recommend that you read one or all of those books immediately. But it's up to you to take action. I can't beg you to take action. I can only instigate and start a conversation with you so that you can actually have a think about the type of life that you're wanting to live. Now, if you're watching this and your life is repeating the same old patterns over and over and over again, then you really need to understand what I am saying. And it's a really critical component to the rest of your life. And usually you know that you have a limiting belief when the same thing keeps on appearing over and over again. 
the same message, the same experience, the same type of people, the same type of job, the same type of boss. You know that you have limitations around you or within you that are attracting those same experiences over and over and over again. What is so amazing about this information is that we actually can supersede our limiting beliefs with new thinking. We can actually delete our belief system and we can upload new information by challenging our paradigms, by reading, by understanding how this all works and literally in front of your eyes your world starts to change. The flexibility it creates in your mind, in your conversation, in your dialogue is incredible. And for me, I could see myself transitioning in the moment, not in weeks or months, in the moment. But I had to understand this power behind the science of who I am, what makes me up, how the cells are controlling my life. So with that being said, please feel free to send me any questions you have. If there's a specific topic you would like me to cover, please let me know. Give us your comments and feedbacks. And thank you to everybody who has been giving and providing comments and feedback. It's just been so overwhelming and I thank you so much. Please follow us on, t uh, on Twitter, EFT TV. Our Facebook page is Emotional Freedom TV and of course our website emotionalfreedom.tv. I really look forward to speaking with you next week in episode four and I hope, I hope that this episode has made you think and provide you with that aha moment. And on that note, have a fantastic week and I'll see you again.